Is it the right time to buy or sell Google stock? Today, we'll be taking a deep dive into Google, providing you with an even more detailed analysis than our initial report published on our website on Friday, October 27, 2023. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. We don't want you to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Take your trading decisions to the next level with our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and receive free price predictions and deep analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please keep in mind that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. As of October 25, 2023, our system has classified Google as a sell candidate with a score of minus 2.77. Now, let's delve into the stock's performance during this period. The stock has seen a decline of minus 2.58%. This means that on average, it has been losing minus 0.86% per day since it was marked as a sell candidate. The stock has broken the weak rising short-term trend down. This indicates a slower rate of rising, but it could also be an early warning of a possible trend shift. With the trend being broken, there will now be resistance at the bottom line of the trend at $131.60. If the stock reacts back to this level, it may provide a second chance to exit before further declines. Looking at the current three-month trend, it suggests a potential 4.37% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 11.3% and 20.79%. Now, let's consider the 12-month trend. It suggests a 61.76% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between 61.76% and 89.21%. This means that the price range could be between $199.61 and $233.49 after a year. Today's update for Google brings some important news. The stock had a bit of a rough day on Friday, losing 0.0324%. The price dropped from $123.44 to $123.40 on the last trading day, marking its third consecutive day of decline. Throughout the day, the stock fluctuated between a low of $121.46 and a high of $124.43, showing a 2.45% range. In the past 10 days, Google's stock has fallen in six of them, resulting in a total decline of 10.95%. On the most recent day, trading volume increased by 1 million shares, even as the prices continued to fall. This might indicate a potential risk in the coming days. In total, approximately $4.30 billion worth of Google shares were bought and sold, with a total of 35 million shares traded. Let's zoom out and look at the bigger picture. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price Google stock reached was $142.38, while the lowest was $83.45. Currently, the stock is trading at 13.33% below its 52-week high, which amounts to a difference of $18.98. It is also 95.12% below its all-time high of $2,526.99, which was achieved on June 11, 2021. Quite a significant difference. Analyst Ratings On Wednesday, October 25, 2023, Needham gave Google a buy rating with a hold action. On Wednesday, July 26, 2023, Susquehanna gave Google a positive rating with a hold action. On Wednesday, July 26, 2023, KeyBank gave Google an overweight rating with a hold action. On Wednesday, May 24, 2023, JMP Securities gave Google a market outperform rating with a hold action. On Thursday, May 4, 2023, Credit Suisse gave Google a neutral rating with a hold action. Analysts have given Google stock a general buy rating. They strongly recommend buying the stock based on its PE ratio and price to book value. However, when it comes to return on investment, the analysts have a more neutral opinion. Today, we're going to take a closer look at the signals for Google stock. 
Currently, there are few to no technical positive signals for Google. Both short and long-term moving averages indicate sell signals, suggesting a more negative outlook for the stock. Additionally, the relation between these two signals shows a general sell signal, with the long-term average positioned above the short-term average. On corrections up, the stock may face resistance at $132.46 and $135.67. However, if it breaks above these levels, it could potentially issue by signals. A sell signal was recently issued from a pivot top point on Wednesday, October 11, 2023, resulting in a decline of minus 12.91%. It is anticipated that the stock will continue to fall until a new bottom pivot is identified. Moreover, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Additionally, volume rose on falling prices yesterday, which could be an early warning sign that the stock should be monitored more closely. Here are some other signals that may catch your interest. Moving average convergence divergence, it indicates a sell signal. Pivots, it suggests a sell signal 13 days ago. Bollinger, it shows a buy signal one day ago. Short-term moving average, it indicates a buy signal five days ago. Long-term moving average, it suggests a sell signal four days ago. The relation between the short and long moving averages, it indicates a buy signal three days ago. Now, let's take a look at the 12-month chart. Short moving average, it indicates a sell signal 4 days ago. Long term moving average, it suggests a sell signal 4 days ago. The relation between the short and long moving averages, it indicates a buy signal 154 days ago. If you want to discover more signals, remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us. Here's what you need to know about support, risk, and stop loss for Google. When it comes to support, there isn't much backing from accumulated volume below today's level. This means that if certain conditions are met, the stock might face some rough times in the next few days. In terms of risk, Google has average movements throughout the day, but with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. Looking at the previous day, the stock had a price range of $2.97, which accounts for a 2.45% difference between the high and low points. Over the past week, the stock has shown an average daily volatility of 2.45%. Before we explore potential trading levels for Google, let's begin by discussing some important fundamental data. First, let's talk about the price-to-earnings ratio, also known as the P-E ratio. This ratio compares a company's current share price to its per-share earnings. Google's P-E ratio falls within the normal range, which is often seen in companies with established track records and predictable revenues. Now, let's move on to the latest earnings report for the fourth quarter of 2023, which is scheduled to be released on February 1, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates for the earnings report are at $1.63. It's important to keep an eye on these figures as they can significantly impact stock prices. Let's dive into the day trading levels for Google. If the market shows an upward trend, keep an eye on the first resistance level at $123.44. If you don't own any shares, it's wise to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those who already have the stock, this could be an interesting level to consider for swing trading. However, it's important to note that there's no significant support from accumulated volume below. This means the stock has the potential to drop sharply under certain conditions. So, proceed with caution and consider placing bets only if you're an experienced trader who knows how to navigate such situations. According to multiple analyst sources, the combined average rating for Google is buy. Now, let's delve into some recent insider trades. The most recent insider trades were conducted by O'Toole Amy Thuiner. They bought and sold a total of 2,536 shares or options in the company. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power has been calculated as negative with a ratio of minus 90.776. Overall, insiders have purchased 348,396 shares and sold 7,265,272 shares in the last 100 trades. Unfortunately, 
we have a negative evaluation for this stock and it is important to note that no stop loss has been set. Is Google stock a good buy? While the positive trend may be encouraging, we have identified several negative signals that lead us to believe that Google stock will perform weekly in the coming days or weeks. Therefore, our evaluation of this stock is negative. Our systems have analyzed the volatility and movements of the stock on the last trading day, and we have determined that the current price is overvalued. As for trading on Monday, October 30th, we expect Google to open down by $0.303 and start trading at $123.10. Before we dive into the content, let's establish an important reminder, trading comes with a high risk of losing money. It's crucial to consult a financial advisor before making any buying or selling decisions regarding securities. It's equally important to note that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By utilizing this information, you agree to take full responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome to Stock Invest. In this video, we'll be discussing our current view of the stock. We value your input, so please share your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear if you agree or disagree with our analysis. Additionally, let us know what target you have in mind for the stock. If you find this content helpful, remember to like and subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you'll stay up to date with our latest insights and analysis. Our goal is to help you succeed in your trading endeavors. Thank you for watching, and we hope you have a fantastic day. From all of us here at Stock Invest, we send you our best regards and wish you profitable trading.